Kimberly Block Sullivan, you began your career as an associate engineer at Pratt & Whitney Corporation, a subsidiary of United Technologies Corporation, and have held positions in engineering, manufacturing operations, finance, and program management. In 2008, you were named executive vice president of the Engine Alliance, a joint venture of General Electric Company and Pratt & Whitney, established in 1996 to develop, manufacture, sell, and support a family of modern technology aircraft engines for a new high-capacity, long-range aircraft. You oversee all of Pratt & Whitney's programs and technical activities. Through this work, you have provided leadership for the development and service of what is currently the quietest, most reliable, and most fuel-efficient engine for the A380 aircraft. Kimberly, the WPI Alumni Association is proud to recognize you for these and many other accomplishments with the Ichabod Washburn Young Alumni Award for Professional Achievement. Good evening, everyone. I have a short story to share with you, but first, I would like to thank the Alumni Association for this recognition. I am honored and appreciative. I would like to thank my friends and family for your love and support that could enable such an exciting and sometimes demanding career. And I would like to thank the faculty and staff at WPI for preparing me so well for the challenges that I met in my career. So my short story actually begins in my sophomore year here at WPI, the day I found out that I had been accepted to the International Project Center for my IQP. Now I was thrilled. I was really excited for a couple of reasons. The first reason is because I really didn't have much international experience. I, uh, my whole experience was two short trips to uh, Canada and one lunch in Tijuana. <laughs> so that wasn't really a great international background when I uh, got this opportunity. So I knew what a great opportunity this was. And I also truly believed that this was going to be it, my only chance to go travel outside of the United States. Well, then we went to the Project Center, and I actually learned something while I was in London. And uh, one of those things I learned while I was in London uh, was that states were more than, uh, I mean, countries were more than big states with people who spoke different languages. Countries actually had cultures that impacted everything, from education to engineering to technology to problem solving. So when I got back from the Project Center, I kind of said, boy, that was awesome but it's too bad I'm probably not going to use this any, again. So mentally, I kind of tied it in a bow and put it up on a shelf. But fortunately for me, the folks that developed the program knew much better than I did that I was probably going to use that experience. So when I started at Pratt & Whitney, some of the places that I've gone, uh, I've traveled all over the world. I've traveled extensively, which probably doesn't surprise you. But what may surprise you is many of the places I've traveled was actually in my first three years of my career. And I, I mean, I had to pinch myself sometimes. I couldn't believe somebody's actually paying me to fly around the world to look at complex, interesting problems, to come back to Pratt and Whitney to figure out a technical solution, and then go help the airline implement. So before I went on any of these missions, I went and learned about the culture. And I learned sometimes they weren't going to be real thrilled about a young female engineer showing up, but we just felt that that was part of the program and something we needed to ensure success of the project. And an amazing thing happened when we tech combined a technical sound solution with a cultural sensitivity to implementation. Customer satisfaction actually went up, and we actually got something done. They actually were implementing what we had recommended. So that led to recognition for me internally, which led to bigger opportunities, advancement through engineering, and then opening the door to opportunities in other areas of the company. So again, I, I really think the launch of my career was tied back to those early international projects, and I really want to thank WPI for preparing me so well, not only technically, but with a cultural sensitivity that has, has worked so well for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. 